go now to the home of the world's largest indoor rainforest and its big shiny domes. Well, the home is in Cornwall, but perhaps it's going to have a second home. Yeah, we're talking about the Eden Project, a uh, plan that maybe they'll build another Eden in Morecambe. Breakfast, John McGuire is there for us this morning. Morning to you, John. Yeah, morning, Charlie, from blustery Morecambe Bay. The dream then to bring what's been such a success story in the southwest. They think it's contributed something like £1.7 billion to the local economy down there, up here to the northwest. And think about it, the Eden Project averages about a million visitors a year. But here, in this part of the country, you've got Manchester, you've got Liverpool, massive conurbations not that far away from here. So what could it mean for visitor numbers? Could we see a return to the days when Marine drive when the promenade here was absolutely rammed with visitors. Morecambe is rightly proud of its past. These pictures, almost 120 years old, show just how popular this seaside town once was. And with an eye on that history, its annual Vintage by the Sea Festival, which takes place next weekend, brings in around 40,000 visitors. But now it's this space age vision that could propel Morecambe into the future. This is the Eden Project in Cornwall, a major visitor attraction. And now there are plans for one here. So the Eden Project could see this area totally transformed. Absolutely, it's only got final plan. This whole project is going to be a total enabler for the district, not just the town actually, because uh, it's not only going to be an economic one, it's going to be a uh, social. Uh, environmental and also educational because with the uh, involvement of Lancaster University being one of the top 10 universities in the country, they're putting all their might behind it and uh, also their, their research, I believe this is going to be actually quite an educational facility as well. For local businesses, Eden would represent a highly prestigious and crucially year-round draw. Morecambe's been quite innovative over the years. Morecambe invented bingo, uh, so this is the new bingo, if you will. It's uh, it's really going to put us not just on the national, but the international map. The Eden Project says its feasibility study indicates Morecambe is a viable location, and now the task begins to raise the many millions needed to create it. And if it is built, it will bring not just sunshine, but millions and millions of new visitors to Morecambe Bay. Morecambe's favourite son there, Eric Morecambe, uh, standing just a little bit further up the promenade. Simon Bellamy is with me, and a couple of other gentlemen who can talk about how the impact it's going to have on Lancashire. Simon, from the Eden Project, what's the vision? It'll be different, won't it, to Cornwall, as opposed to here? Yeah, it will be different. Um, every place is different because of its location. And here's about reimagining a seaside resort for the 21st century. Um, obviously, the Eden Project in Cornwall is about the connection with plants, and of course the communities in, in Cornwall, and this is about the connection with this wonderful environment here at the Bay, the communities of Morecambe, and obviously working with our partners as well to try and create something truly special, including yeah, a big, big part of that is well-being as well, getting back to nature. Okay. One of your partners, Lancaster University, uh, Andrew Afton is here for us this morning. Well, what's the university's role in a project like this? It, 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 it seems unusual, really. So a big part of this uh, project is about education and research. Uh, we think Morecambe Bay is, is a great site of special scientific interest. Do lots of really interesting research. Eden has a strong focus on education as well. And also we want to be a local partner to bring Eden into this to make it a really fantastic attraction for the north of England. And John, John O'Neill, who we saw in the report, we, 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 there have been some fantastic rainbows here this morning. We were talking about pots of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. I mean, this is the golden ticket. You must be incredibly excited about it. It is really fantastic. I mean, if, if it goes ahead, I mean, it's more than just a tourist attraction, actually. I mean, it's a total enabler for the area. We're talking about social, we're talking about economic, we're talking about education, we're talking about environment. If it all comes together, I think we are going to be the jewel in the crown on the, uh, in the north, if not the whole of, of the UK, actually. I, this, I mean, we, everyone's very excited about it, very ambitious, but I think we deserve it. Excellent. Absolutely right. Uh, Simon, just a very quick word. Any idea of time scale if everything goes according to plan? Finance is the big one now, of course. Yeah, finance is the big one, but if everything did go to plan and we've got the champions and the advocates, we're looking at 2022, 2023 potentially. All right, gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. And interestingly, we've been looking at those fabulous designs, iconic, incredible designs of the biomes down in Cornwall there near Snostel. It would be slightly different here. There might even be something like uh, muscle shells. Same architect, Nicholas Grimshaw, very famous architect company. Uh, so it, it would be incredibly 
very uh, visually impressive, I think. And, and it has to be, doesn't it? Because just look at Morecambe. There's the rainbow. Back again for us on cue. This really is a stupendous location, a wonderful vista. Uh, it could only be enhanced, I guess, by Eden's uh, magic coming into this neck of the woods. Certainly would be. Certainly would be, John. Thanks very much. It is a stupendous view. It's glorious. A great view. And blustery as well. Yeah. Seaside scene. Perfect so, seaside. Uh, we're back in just